Options feature which can make your life easier. For example, we have already seen this selection menu where we have used the smart select option and also that we can memorize, select or even clear selections. Now, when you set physical properties and then you run the simulation, you can have special selections. For example, select those which have some gas absorption, select those which are reflective, or select those where you have set up a certain type of texture. So these are like uh, handy tools that you can use. Uh, yes, you can like select all facets as well. But two of them are interesting for you right now, even when you didn't start the simulation. One of them is like select facet by number. So here you can, for example, select facet number 30. Then you can add another facet to the selection, for example, facet 50. Or you can remove 30 from the selection. But also you can give a range. For example, you can select facets 10 to 15. Or you can even give comma. So you'd like to select 10 to 15, 50 to 60, and finally 88. And Moleflow can parse this and then he has selected these five, these ten, and these two. And this is like uh, also quite useful. For example, you could write one to 150, for example. Oh, that actually gives an error message because like facet 150 doesn't exist. But you could select all by one to 102 and then remove the two end caps, which is like number one and two. So now the end caps are not selected. The other thing that you can uh, often use is inverting the selection. So I have told you before that right now the end caps are not selected. How could we make sure we could invert the selection? And now he does the uh, two end caps only. So this is useful when, for example, you select one side of your geometry. Uh, for that, I go to front view. And then uh, by inverting it, which is actually command I or control I for Windows, I can select the two sides. So right now I can jump between the two sides. This is for selecting uh, facets. And here you can see another uh, option to select vertices. And this is interesting when you want to modify your geometry. So now I've got like a V on my cursor. And here I can select these node points that I have selected uh, that I have seen in my geometry. And typically, at a circular geometry, sometimes you'd like to show circles. So then, when you draw a key, if you press the Alt key, then suddenly your selection is becoming a circle. So now I have selected these uh, vertices. By the way, this works with facet selection mode as well. So you can draw boxes, or you can also like select circles. For example, I'd like to select this. It also happens that, for example, I'd like to select a circle, so I'm starting to draw, and then I see that I have started a little bit from the wrong location. In that case, you hold the space bar, and then you can move the anchor point of your selection, and then you can like follow and get your selection correctly. All of these you don't have to memorize as you're in selection. Here it writes in the tooltips, like hold space to move anchor, hold alt to use circle, and hold tab to invert facet in vertex mode. So what does this mean? For example, right now I'm in facet mode, I can select facets. But if I press the tab key, then temporarily, without switching here on the lower uh, right corner, I can actually go to vertex mode. And obviously this tab also works with uh, shift and control keys. So let's say I select these two facets, then I press shift tab, then I can add to the selection some vertices, or control tab, you can also like uh, deselect a few uh, vertices. One interesting thing once again is like, let's say you select two facets. For that, you always have to click twice because clicking all only gives one facet to the selection. But by pressing command or control key, then you actually deselect everything under your mouse pointer. Now, why was I uh, looking at the vertex selection mode, even if right now we are not using vertices for anyone? Because let's say you'd like to select a few facets, but it's really hard to click them. So then you can, for example, select a vertex and then turn on the caps lock key. I have turned on the caps lock key and then it tells me caps lock on, select facets only with selected vertex. 
So right now I try to select this faucet, but I can't do that. Nothing happens. Why is that? Because when CapsLock is turned on, you restrict the selectable faucets only to those which have at least one selected vertex. So here I can select this, or even if I try to select everything, I only selected three faucets, this end cap, and those two faucets which actually share this vertex with each other. Obviously this works the other way as well, so if I go to vertex selection mode, I cannot select these vertices anymore, only those which are part of a selected faucet. So if I try to select everything, he selects everything as part of the selected faucets and the few endpoints. So now I turned off caps lock and then you can uh, get rid of this mode.